Viper 2010 ACRX motor, which is a little bit different than the production Viper engine. It's got forged pistons, it's got five-in-one exhaust headers, it's got a different calibration for racing specifically, and it makes about 640 horsepower, 605 foot-pounds of torque. Not street legal. We don't have catalysts. We don't have some of the OBD monitors that the production car has. It's it's a race car, so it's a lot of fun. Today we're we're just final verification of the calibration. We're checking all of the spark and fuel surfaces, any of the remaining OBD monitors that are still operative. We're making sure there aren't any interaction problems or anything like that. You can't see them, but we've got in-cylinder pressure transducers. They're piezoelectric devices, so. We can actually see what's going on with the combustion. We can see the rate of rise, the peak pressures, and if there's any knock occurring, we can tell that right away. So what we're doing, we're running steady state points at each of the different speed and load conditions. We're looking for spark knock. We're making adjustments to fuel and spark to make sure we don't have any issues there. Yeah, I've always been a car nut you know, from day one, and I always wanted to work on cars and specifically engines. Um, I've been with Chrysler now 29 years. I was on the original Team Viper back, started in 1989. Before that, I was at Lamborghini with Chrysler. So I kind of cut my teeth there a little bit on V10s. Came back, worked on Viper. Um, Viper's been in my blood ever since, and it's, it's part of me.